Hello dear travelers, this is Vera from Firebird Tours and I've been waiting for this video to come. I think I even promised a separate video about a traditional Russian souvenirs that you can bring back home from your vacation to Russia. Well, here it is. We are back to our favorite uh, souvenir shop in St. Petersburg called Anegin and I would like to start my souvenirs list with art painting which was always uh, one of the most ancient types of folk crafts. There are many different styles but I would like to talk about two most recognizable ones, Chachlama and Gzeli. Let's go and start. Both of these styles are called after a small village and entire region where craftsmen began to make and then sell their art pieces. Chachlama is a decorative painting of wooden uh, tableware and even furniture uh, made in uh, red, green, uh, golden colors on a black background. One of the most important qualities of Chachlama is that despite the fact that it's wooden, it's very durable. Every detail uh, is covered with a huge number of of layers painted by hand. If you're interested in prices and I don't know for example if you would like something small not expensive and for every friend a spoon for every friend it's uh, price is like less than three dollars or a vodka shot as well so this can be a really great set uh, to go together for example this bowl for uh, sugar is like ten dollars this is a good present Another very popular painting style is Gzel, and you will easily recognize it. Chachlama is very bright, Gzel is painted with using only two colors, white and blue, and artists on the Gzel fabric can recognize up to 20 shades of the blue color. It all depends how hard they press the brush. Gzel porcelain is a real traditional Russian craft. Uh, painting is handmade, accurate, and every stroke is unique. You will never find two identical pieces. Just to give you an example of the price range, well, um, that's uh, the piece that I like. It's a, I don't know, honey bowl. It said honey here in Russian. Uh, the price for uh, such a piece is 2,000 rubles, which is like $30 by uh, today's rate. You know, I'm always for practical presents for myself and when I search for a present for a friend, well, here's something very Russian, what you can use, well, maybe not every day, but at least sometimes. Pavlo Pasatsky's cards. Um, I honestly think that these uh, bright scarves with beautiful flower pattern is like a symbol of Russia. Traditionally, uh, uh, preference is given to garden flowers like roses or dahlias, and these scarves are made of thick wool material 100% and silk over here, uh, so you will look beautiful and warm. Uh, price for such a scarf is uh, $160, and you can see how beautiful you will look. Arenburg Shovels uh, is a one of the famous Russian handicraft of goat down. These shovels are especially delicate and soft and in order to check whether it's a good quality or not, you need to thread it through the ring. Just give me a second, I will do it just in front of you. Just one more second, uh-huh. And one more. <laughs> So you can see how thin the shawl is and at the same time very warm. It's stronger than wool, believe it or not. Price for such a shawl is only $23. I myself have actually two of them. Uh, to be honest, I have a friend from Edinburgh and once she has brought me uh, a shawl and next year she brought me mittens. So I believe one year in the future I will have a full set. So take a look. Right. 
Russian purslane. Uh, actually, these uh, products are made by Imperial Russian factory located in St. Petersburg. It's handmade uh, painted purslane. Take a look how uh, amazingly elegant it is. But actually, I wanted to point out to, uh, well, specifically this uh, Russian crafts uh, because in fiber tours we have two private programs where a master class of painting the purslane is included so if you're interested well bear in mind that such an activity is possible in St. Petersburg Russian lacquer miniature on papier mache boxes. It's a very elegant uh, present or a souvenir. There are two main uh, painting schools exist, uh, Fedoskina and Palikh. Fedoskina is mostly famous for, um, uh, for using the images of paintings of the Russian artists and also uh, the nature scenes. Uh, Palikh is mostly famous and known for using the images of the, uh, from the Russian fairy tales. And two main symbols here, of course, is the firebird and Russian troika. I've heard that masters give 100 years a uh, warranty and the pledge of strength it is, is a special varnish. Uh, masters work slowly, very carefully and sometimes in order to make one box it takes uh, up to half a year. What comes to the prices uh, to the boxes, for example, this small box uh, uh, costs $100 and up to, well, actually no limits here. It depends on the size and on the after of the work. Matryoshka, maybe the most iconic Russian souvenir. Well, I don't even know what can be more popular than Matryoshka. Take a look at these beautiful ladies, which intended to be dolls. There's a huge variety of different styles and sizes, of course. Prices range from $4 only with three pieces inside to $10,000. But if you're very interested in Matryoshka doll, then I would actually recommend our separate video specifically about this Russian souvenir. location to the second I would like also to show you that you can actually buy souvenirs just right in the street so let's go and take a look uh, what they offer just right here so from magnets to cups to of course t-shirts with uh, Mr. President with Vladimir Putin and I love St. Petersburg but actually I'm looking for uh, Ushanka hat which I, uh, which I know is very uh, popular among the foreign tourists. All right so here they are Ushanka hats in different colors but of course the right one the classic one is black with two-headed eagle and such a price is only for eleven dollars yeah When I was thinking about this topic, Russian souvenirs, I thought that my list should include something what Russia is really famous for. And that's why we cannot skip vodka and caviar. And in order to check them out, I would like to recommend a place to shop for them. We are visiting today Yeliseevsky shop. Uh, this uh, shop is located on the main street of St. Petersburg, Nevsky Prospect, and you won't pass it through. Very beautiful building, which was built in 1902 specifically for this shop. And rich decoration had to attract the customers, of course. Right now, it's considered to be a historical luxury store uh, with quality goods. That's why if you plan to shop for vodka and caviar which you can totally bring on board of the plane uh, please visit this place but which vodka to buy let's get inside and uh, take a look Bye. 
All right. Well, I have to admit that I'm not I'm not a pro in caviar or vodka, even though I'm a true Russian. Uh, but as I just found out, the most classic thing to buy if you're a foreign traveler in Russia, uh, that would be, uh, of course, black sturgeon caviar over here it's called the gold of caspi and over here red caviar salmon caviar uh, from kamchatka uh, what comes to vodka then a couple of brands that i would like to recommend the one that i know and try myself is called Biluga. it's a very fine brand of vodka so please consider this one and this one is called russian escarpa to be honest i didn't know about this brand but as i was told it's a really good one plus inside you can see a silver ship uh, this uh, keeps vodka uh, very good for a long time take take a look Yelisev shop where uh, we are inside right now actually produces many many things from vodka and to cognac and from pastry and even to really beautiful and great Russian chocolate. Take a look how beautiful it is. <laughs> so you can also get those as a souvenir for your friends and family. I would like to finish my video right here at Yeliseev shop trying their homemade pastry. I do believe right now is the time when you plan your vacation and if you visit Russia, you already know what to buy from Matryoshka to Vodka. This was Vera from Fiverr Tours. Thank you very much for your attention. I will see you next week. Bye-bye.